would you do if your boyfriend pushed or slapped or even punched you in the face? We're with teen girls who have forgiven their abusive boyfriends because they think that they have found true love. Um, this is Kimberly. Um, Kimberly, you are what, 17 years old? Mm hmm. And you've been abused in your relationship? Yes, ma'am. Tell me. Uh, it was a normal day. We were having a normal conversation. And uh, my brother called my phone. Uh, he thought it was some other dude. He thought I was cheating on him. He got mad. He took my cell phone. He called one of his homeboys and said, I want you to come to my house, rape this girl, and kill her afterwards. Talking about you. Talking about And me. you heard him say that? I heard it. After he did that, he told me to drive to his house, and he told me to park behind it because he had to get some stuff. That's what I did, and, and when he got out of the car, he threw my phone in the woods, busted it against the tree. He went around my door, opened the door, and said, I don't want to be with you no more. I want to kick your ass. And what did he do? Um, he pulled me out. He slammed me on the ground. He knocked the breath out of me. Um, he stood over me and looked me dead in my eyes and was like, do you still love me? I said, yes, I always love you. And he was like, wrong answer. Wrong answer? He said, wrong answer, and then he hit me. Where did he hit you? He hit me in the mouth. In your face? Um, and that's the bruise? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. When you look at those pictures, what do you think? When you see that, when you see yourself bruised like that? It upsets me. What upsets you the most? That he did that. Um, he said he loved me, but as you could tell, he, he showed it. It's does it upset you more that he did it, or does it upset you more that you stay? That I stayed. That you stayed. This is the shirt where, where he hit me, and I was spitting up blood. This is your blood all over mm -hmm. this shirt. And he took it off his back and started wiping it for me. So he hit you. This is his shirt. This is his shirt. With your blood on it. With my blood on it. And he took his shirt off to wipe your blood. Mm-hmm. Why do you keep this shirt? Memories. Memories what? Of, to do, of what? Well, to be honest with you, when I want kids, I want to show them. I want to teach them, like, hey, this is what I've been through. Mm -hmm. Don't have nobody like this. I want to ask you, when did he say he was sorry? Because I'm sure he did, right? After That's he, how it works. After he did it. Um, after he beat me to the ground, I couldn't get up. I was bruised. I was hurting. I was crying. He was like, baby, I'm sorry. I don't know why I did it. I could just look at him and tell he was, he, it, it was fake. He was fake. I, mean, I knew he was going to do it again. Are you with him now? No. Do you think you'll go back? I, to be honest with you, I don't, I don't think I never will. You don't think you will? I never, I don't, I don't, I don't never will go back at him. You never will? I never will. You sure? I'm sure. Okay. okay. Then we have your mother. She's in the audience, right? Mm -hmm. So it got so bad. You took your daughter to counseling to try to, to get her out of this relationship, right? Yes, ma'am. Do you think she will go back? Because I'll be honest, when I asked her the first time, I, I got it. Kimberly, I asked you, and you kind of stumbled. You were like, uh, it, it was a little hesitation. Where's that hesitation? Because I love them. I always will love them, no matter what. But it's just going to get worse, and I know that. I know that. And but what was the hesitation of saying that you're going to stay away forever? I didn't truly believe you. I felt like, I call it that Tyra show answer. There's an audience, there's cameras, there's lights on you. There's me looking like this. <laughs> And I feel you just say the right thing. What would it take for him to get you back? If he could say some stuff. If certain, he changed. If he said he changed? If I see it. How do you see I, it? I don't think he never will. How do you see it? How do you see him change? To go back? How do you see something like that? To get a job. To be independent. Because I took care of him. So you think a job and him being independent and having a job and bringing money home is going to make him stop hitting? If he gets some help, if he has some help. Do you think that she'll go back? 
each and every day. Like I said, we've had her back four weeks, and we've been dealing with this for three years. And, and as she comes home, about three or four weeks, she'll stay home, and she'll go back to him. Uh, and it's every day, you know, we just get up in the mornings, and we look in her bedroom, and she's there, and we just thank the Lord for another day that we have with her. Because in my heart, no, I don't know. I'm not satisfied. I'm not I don't have the assurance that she's not going back. Yeah. She doesn't um, have that thing of I'm done. No. Because there's an I'm done thing. When I was in my emotionally abusive relationship, Kimberly, it was this kind of thing what I feel with you right now. But one day, I'll never forget, I woke up in this hotel room in New York City, and I just called him and I said, I'm done. And I heard in his voice that he knew it was true. And he just felt like, oh my God, she's telling the truth that time, this time. And when you're done, you know you're done. There is none of this, I love him, I'll always love him, da da da, if he gets a job, if he gets, you're not done. And you need to get to being done and get to loving you. And you truly love you inside and know that you are worth more than some man pounding you and calling his friends and saying that they need to come and rape you. When you are truly done with that, there'll be a different girl sitting here, not that girl that's like unsure. We'll be right back.